I think we are going to have Rob come back up and talk to us about something else. I don't know if it's going to be as cool as UFOs. It's about that. Um, it is about, okay. Okay. We'll take it away. So, according to the Mitch Hacker Guide to the Galaxy, which I mentioned before, Vogon poetry is the worst, the third worst no. in the universe. No, no, we are not doing Vogon. Oh. <laughs> it causes physical pain to the hearers, right? All right, I'm going to see where I fit in on that. So, and also in the vein of people having changed their mind in their lifetime. I used to be a UFO true believer. And I wrote this poem when I was about 15 years old. So, and this is going to be a, a, a contest here. I, I have a shirt that's a duplicate of this, and it's going to be awarded to the person who can figure out what movie I had just seen that caused me to write this poem. Okay. And, and we're going to do it by raising hands, and I will call on people, not shouting it out, because yeah. then I won't. Okay, this is called, How Curious This Race. How curious this race, mankind, so good yet so ghoulish, so wise yet fantastically foolish. During several millennia of constant observation, after our initial pre-dawn tampering with creation, we have recorded a series of major contradictions. But the importance of this communication may lie in the following determination, that the results of cosmic experiment on file as 2415 may yet turn out positive. Man may yet survive. For new members present, we first take space to retrace what mankind is, a very odd race. These are the contradictions. Most of you have seen them before. Here is a strange list, repeated once more. Furnished with a garden wonderland, man mirrors it in his wondrous arts, then defaces and pollutes it, air, sea, and land. Given responsibility for all Terran species, he takes some to his heart, others he kills for sport and trophy. Having intelligence surpassed by none in his reality, he fashions instruments to comprehend infinite diversity, then places himself at the center of totality. Such ego. Man calls his race creation of the ages, yet brother kills brother in the wars he wages. Man has many weaknesses indeed, yet he has tried and tried. Tried to improve himself with a passion unseen before in any like fashion. Most human shortcomings have been recorded on other worlds, in other systems. Tragic, laughable, to us incomprehensible, yet forgivable, survivable. Equaled have been man's transgressions in this universe of infinite room, but not the speed of his technological progression, for that may be his final doom. For what most cultures don't achieve in ages technologically, man has done in the span of a century. What most cultures do in almost no time socially, man may never achieve totally. Of all worlds and species ever put under our observation, None have survived nuclear proliferation. That is, unless a world state had already unified every nation. The list, as you know, is long. If man fails, he won't be first or last. Many have been covered in radioactive ash. So the question is this, can mankind survive, be the first exception, the first antisocial race to get a cosmic reception? No, say our colleagues, but we observers don't agree. Earth may yet make it up to stage three. On what evidence, you may ask, can we base what we say? No proof is available. We just hope things turn out that way. But if we are wrong, if that button is pushed, if the trumpet does sound, then man and his world will be burnt to the ground. No sign will remain, not a thing left behind, to tell of a race which almost made it a race called mankind. Wow, really good. Yeah. So I found that in a box of my things in the attic. For, I was like 14 or 15. So what movie, for this teacher, what movie had I just seen to give me the idea to write for a poem? Uh, it's, remember Diego? Oh, it was uh, Planet of the Apes? Nope, sorry. War Games. Nope, sorry. I was going to guess Planet of the Apes. <laughs> remember, it's like 14 or 15. Um, yeah, oh, sorry, Dr. Strangelove? Nope. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Oh, wow! wow. Eric is old enough to be my father, and I'm 40, so keep going. <laughs> 2001? Yeah! Oh. <laughs> I said it was Eric, and I had, I had a clue in my thing with the humans touching yes, the body. I, yeah. I thought of that, too. <laughs> Thank you, Rob. Yay! Yay. <laughs>